Welcome to part two of 20 no cook foods for food photographers. If you missed part one, make sure to check that out. Before we get started on the second half of our list, here's a quick recap on the topic. All right guys, so there's this myth in the food photography world, especially if you're a beginner, that you have to cook everything that you shoot. And truth be told, there's a lot of food photographers out there who, if they're not shooting with a big production crew, really don't care to cook their own food. That's not a prerequisite, just in case you were wondering. So, today I'm gonna go over my top 20 no cook foods. Yes, 20, it's a huge list, but it's worth taking notes. If that sounds good to you, keep watching. Hi everyone, I'm Kiana Adams from The Key Ingredient. I'm a food photographer and educator, as well as a recipe developer. When I'm not creating content for myself, I am providing tips and tricks and all things photography based on my knowledge here on my channel. Okay, number 11, we're getting on down the list. Smoothies and smoothie bowls. They can be garnished, they can be in a bowl, they can be in a cup. There's so many ways that you can dress up the simple element and it also gives the opportunity to give you great color. So smoothies and smoothie bowls, add it to the list. Number 12, chips and salsa. Cannot go wrong with chips and salsa because it's chips and salsa. It looks beautiful, it's colorful, and there's no cooking involved. And you can really set it up. Buy some fresh tomatoes or mangoes or whatever the salsa is. Bottom line, you don't have to cook it. Add salsa, chips and salsa to the list. Number 13, but before I get into number 13, the list that I've given you so far, have you guys shot any of this subject matter already? Or are there any subjects that you are looking forward to shooting? Put a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it because as this list goes on, you'll see that there are so many things that you can add to your portfolio or that you can shoot that you get in there, you don't have to cook, you set up and then you get out and get done. And if there's anything that I've missed, please add that as well because I'm always looking for more things to add to my no cook foods. So number 13, cured meats. I love cured meats because personally, in my personal life and eating habits and all that jazz, I love cheese boards. And for me, a good cheese board has a variety of salty, sweet, sour, sticky, all of those things. And the fats from cured meats, mm. cured meats, add it to your list. Number 14, I love this. And I don't get to do it as often as I would like, but sushi and poke bowls. Very, very cool. No cook, colorful. You can make it up very quickly in your kitchen, having the right ingredients, add it to your portfolio. The thing that you have to remember is trying to keep it fresh, so you need to make sure that you keep it cool as opposed to warm. So that's what makes my number 14, sushi. Number 15 on my list, Tacos and wraps, just like salads, like yogurts, and many of the other things that I mentioned on my list today, they have such variety that come along with putting them together. So tacos definitely make the list of items that you should add to your portfolio, especially if you are not a cook. So number 15, tacos and wraps. Number 16, I love this because they are so easy, they're festive, and they make great little additions to any photo shoot. Spices, whole spices especially. So if you are looking for something to add some more visual interest, I would definitely add whole spices, cinnamon, cloves, peppercorns, cardamom, the list goes on and on, but they look so good in a photo, and you don't have to cook them. Okay, number 17, nuts, seeds, and nut butters. No cook, 
lots of texture. If you're doing a nut butter, lots of specular highlights. I highly recommend. Condiments, dressings, and sauces are my number 18. I love them because you don't want to make your own. You can buy them in the store and you can use them in a number of ways. So 18, condiments, dressings, and sauces. And especially if you're doing a salad, they work really well. Number 19, dried fruit. Okay, so hear me out. We have a glossy subjects and we have highly textured subjects, but dried fruit are great, especially if you wanna do a close up. And you can even gloss them up with a little oil if you want to, or you can shoot them dry, but I feel like they offer a lot of visual interest to a photograph, but dried fruit is one of my favorites. Last, but definitely not least, this one is really fun to shoot because you can use it in a number of different ways. My number 20 is pickled produce. Whether it's actual pickles or pickled vegetables, it's really great subject matter to shoot alone or with other subjects. So that's my number 20, pickled produce. That wraps up my top 20 no-cook foods. If I happen to miss anything, please make sure you put it in the comments below. I love finding out new innovative ideas and I'm sure the other viewers will appreciate it as well. If you enjoyed what you saw, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and be sure to be notified every single time I post a video. Also, follow me on Instagram at The Key Ingredient. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Until then, take care.